Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from the book of Joshua, chapter 8, verses 34 through 35, and the word of God reads this way. And afterward, he read all the words of the law, the blessings and cursings, according to all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses commanded, which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel, with the women and the little ones and the strangers that were conversant among them. In the 8th chapter of Joshua, near the end of the chapter, you have Joshua setting up worship unto the Lord after the defeat of Ai. Joshua is a man of war. Joshua, after uh, Moses died, took over and brought the nation of Israel to the promised land. And you know what? There were a lot of battles that were going on, and Joshua led Israel in the battle. Well, in the battle of Ai, which they won, Israel won, Joshua is now worshiping the Lord. And from verses 30 to 35, you see that worship. But when you get to verse 34, excuse me, 34, it says, And afterward, and after the actual worship, because he gave offerings to God, it says he, and that's Joshua, read all the words of the law. So Joshua read the words of the law to the people. The blessings and cursings according to all that is written in the book of the law. And you can see those in Deuteronomy chapter 27 and 28. Then verse 35 says, There was not a word of all that Moses commanded, which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel. So Joshua read all of the law to the whole congregation. And it wasn't just the men. It says, with the women and the little ones and the strangers that were conversant among them. So you notice that Joshua was giving the law to the men of Israel, the women of Israel, the children of Israel, and even the strangers that were in Israel as well. Dear Christian, what I love about these two verses is Joshua was a mighty warrior of God, but he was also a leader spiritually. He gave worship to God and he made sure that Israel, which was under his rule because he was a man of war, he was going to war for Israel, he made sure that they knew the law of God. And it wasn't just the men he spoke to. He made sure that the women knew it. He made sure that the children knew it. And he made sure that the children, uh, excuse me, that um, whoever were the strangers were that were living in Israel knew it as well. It was important that the nation of Israel and everybody in the nation of Israel understood that the law of God was important. And when you give praise, honor, and glory to God, it's not just the worship the offerings and everything else that they did. It was also reading the law, meditating on it, and hiding it in your heart. The nation of Israel had to do that because without God's law, there would be no nation, there would be no theocracy because if you're going to be under God, you're going to be under God's law. And that's why Joshua read the law to all of Israel. So this is Joshua chapter 8, verses 34 through 35. Just wanted to do a quick look to actually remind you, Christian, even today as Christians, we don't want to negate the commandments of God. Just because we're under grace doesn't mean that we just reject God's commands. Sometimes we think grace is an excuse to listen to God's commands when we want to. We want to be hearers of the word, but we don't want to be doers. Well, let me tell you something. Even in the Old Testament, they had grace as well. If you had faith, it was grace that made you obey the law, that made you keep the law. And the same is true in the New Testament. We're in the, under the New Covenant, but you know what? The New Covenant has everything to do with loving the commandments and the laws and the statutes of God. And it needs to be read. And just like Joshua read it to the nation of Israel, as Christians today, we need to be reading it and studying it. If you're the head of the house like I am, we need to be reading and studying it to our families, to our wives, to our children, even to our friends. Reading the law of God, the word of God, is good. Because just like Israel was under the law of God, we are also under God's commandments and we're under his word. 
the leading of the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen us to obey and love the Word of God, but we definitely have to read it, we have to hear it, we have to study it, and we have to obey it. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky, please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, remember something. Though Joshua was a military leader, he was also a spiritual leader. We have a spiritual battle today as Christians. And as the head of my household, I am also the spiritual leader of my family, but I also fight a spiritual battle. So I am a warrior for God, but I'm also what? The prophet, priest, and in some respects, the king of my household. And I need to read the law of God, the word of God, to my family. That was important for the nation of Israel. It's important for us as Christians today. We don't ever not want to neglect that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and God bless.